and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting decimals, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Let's start with adding decimals. Let's say we have 5 and 32 hundredths plus 15 and 3 tenths. The only thing we need to know about adding decimals is that you need to line it up vertically, so I'll do that over here on the right side, and you have to make sure the decimals are lined up. It doesn't really matter if there are digits sticking off to the left side or the right side. So let me write my 5 and 32 hundredths. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my decimal right here. So I'm going to put my 15, so I've got my 1 in the tens place sticking out. And then I've got a 3 in the tenths place. And this 2 in the hundredths place on the 5 and 32 hundredths is sticking out. It doesn't really matter. As long as you line up the decimals, then adding decimals is a cinch. And so you have two, you got a blank spot. If you want, you can put a zero there because zero is worth nothing. And you can go ahead and add that. Make sure your decimal comes straight down. And then you add just like normal. Five and five is 10, carry the one. So your answer would be 20 and 62 hundredths. The only thing you need to remember is line up the decimals. Now let's try subtraction. We're going to look at two different subtraction types of problems. The first one is when you have digits going to different amounts here. So look, we have 3 and 2 tenths minus 1 and 92 hundredths. So once again, we need to line them up here. 3 and 2 tenths, line up the decimals. So you have 1 and 92 hundredths. Now, this can sometimes become tricky because you're tempted to say blank minus 2 is 2, but what you need to do is you need to go ahead and add a 0 up here. You can always add a 0 because 0 is not worth anything. And you wouldn't say 0 minus 2 is 2. What you need to do is borrow from the 2 in the tenths place and make that 10 hundredths. And so you need to add that 0 if there's a blank spot. And then you borrow, regroup, and subtract like normal. So your answer here would be 1 and 28 hundredths. So make sure you add that 0. This last example is a problem you might see on a math test. They might say something like, you have $13, and you are going to give $1.25 to your friend. How much money do you have left? So you need to subtract 13 minus 125. Now, just like always, we need to line up the decimal, but you see here, I'm going to go ahead and drop my dollar signs. We don't need those for our subtraction. We have the 13, but we don't really have a decimal anywhere. And so what we need to realize is that if you have a whole number like 13 and you're going to take away a decimal, you can always add a decimal after the ones place. This 3 is in the ones place. So you can add a decimal right there and you can add a 0, 0. Because 13 or 13 and 0 hundredths, well that's the same value. So if you need to add some digits so you can line up your decimal like I'm doing right here, one and twenty-five hundredths or a dollar and twenty-five cents, you can always add a decimal after the digits in the ones place and then add two zeros. And then you go ahead and subtract like normal. Now make sure you borrow from this three because zero minus five, you can't do that. You can't borrow from the zero in the tenths place, so you need to actually borrow from this three in the ones place. Make that a two, and now you've got ten tenths, and you borrow one of the ten tenths, leaving nine. And now you've got 10 hundredths. Now you can do your subtraction like normal. So just remember that if you need to, and your answer needs to go back and be dollar sign since you started with dollars, you can always add a decimal and then a zero or possibly two zeros to line up the decimals. Now it's your turn. I've got three problems for you here. 14 and 3 tenths plus 265 and 94 hundredths. 17 and 2 tenths minus 3 and 84 hundredths, and then 22 minus 5 and 1 tenth. Pause the video, solve these problems, and when you're done, start it back up and check your work. The key to all three of these is to line up the decimals. If you want, you can put a zero in the hundredths place in the top there. But we're going to go ahead and make this 280 and 24 hundredths. Let's put a zero in the hundredths place there so we can do some regrouping here. So that's going to be a six. We need to regroup from this, make that an 11. Bring your decimal down. And then 22, let's make it 22.0 so we can go ahead and regroup here. That's going to be 9. 
bring down your decimal 16.9.